Just put your phones up. I've got to do a little bit of this on the. I got to film a little bit of this. We got a lot of kids out. All right, we're going to hand this sheet in today. We've done this now. This is our fourth day doing a review sheet on functions like this. So I think you guys should be pretty good on the test. The other three you have in your folder, if you want to look at them and get ready for the test. This is the fourth sheet. Everything on these sheets in the last four days is what's on the test tomorrow. Pick a lot of Number one, is it like F negative? Man, I haven't even looked at it. Would it be X axis or Y axis? I'll show you. I'll show you. So if you guys want to work ahead, y'all can skip the ones you don't know. And I'm not going to do all these for you, but I am going to work a good bit for the video so that people can see it at home. Which I think you guys need help on the back page anyway a little bit. Um, and I think y'all need help on number 15. And which other one do y'all need help? And I think y'all still need help on 1 through 8. Okay? So I'm going to draw the graph. You guys can go ahead and try 1 through 8. You can start putting your phones up. Let's not have them out while we're doing this. We're going to do front and back before we take a bathroom break. Five, y'all had time to look at it. One through right. five, I don't know. Jacob, look at number one, Jacob. Look on your sheet of paper. Now look, they're wanting you to find f of negative three. So where do you go to look? You go to negative three on the x-axis, which is right here. Then what do I do? You follow it up and see where it hits the line. Where does it hit at? One. Hits at one. That answer is just one. So right now you guys do two and three, and we'll check. Don't look at my graph. Yours is probably more accurate on your paper. We're going to hand this in. All right, Peyton, you working? Looks like you up to something over there. You look guilty. All right. Mikey, what did you get on number two? When you go to negative four, where does it hit the line at? Four. I agree with Mikey. Anybody got a question on that one? Everybody good? The next count one, up. Negative three. one, two, three, four. It's four, kick lighter. Just count it up. All right, Carter, you got the next one. Go to negative one, see where it hits the line. Negative one hits at negative one. I agree. Nobody should miss one of them first three tomorrow. Where's the four or five? I've been on the four five or eight. All right, I think one, two, and three are easier. You guys always get mixed up on four or five. Let's do four. Chloe, you watching? All right, now when it says f of x, guys, remember, that's the same thing as y equals two. So you got to go to two on the y line and then see where it hits the graph. So let's do that. Go up two right here. All right, now, where's I hit the graph at? Three and a half. I, I, I'm going to look on here, guys. I just said three. Go up or two, three. and it hits at one, two, three and a half. I agree. One, two, three and a half. I was just making sure it was the same. Negative three and a half is the answer for that one because I had to go back negative 3.5. Number five? I haven't even tried five. Any question on four? It's four. All right, so number five, we got to go to four now. One, two, three, four, and see where it hits the graph. Four. How about negative four? Negative four. Don't you go backwards? Yeah. All right, so it's negative four. So since that problem tomorrow is going to be multiple choice, if you put four instead of negative four, you're going to miss the whole problem. Most of these tomorrow are going to be multiple choice. All right, so let's go to six. All right, domain, we've done this a lot. What is the domain of this graph? Domain is left to right. The left is negative infinity. The right? Positive infinity. All right, so we got negative infinity to positive infinity 
parentheses around both. Ranges uh Uh, I say range is negative, negative one. Range is bottom to top, right? So negative yeah. one. Guys, that's a bad problem to give y'all for range. I haven't gave y'all one like that. There's no time to start. Skip seven. It would be infinity and infinity. Guys, skip it. It would be it would be negative two. Because look, it kind of bottoms out right here and doesn't keep going down to infinity. But I'm not gonna give you one like that on the test because I haven't gave y'all any like that this week. Everyone I had, if it had an arrow, it was negative infinity or bottom infinity. All right, what's the maximum? Why no solution? Why not infinity? You can't have infinity on a max or a min. So number eight, y'all just say no solution. You say no solution if it's infinity. On max or min. All right, Jacob, you back there distracting Sam. You in the wrong seat to start with. No, you go to the bathroom. You don't change him in here. Alright, you interrupt me, you move it up here. Alright, let's go to nine. Seven, I said you could skip it. Number nine, negative seven and twelve, four and fifteen. Allison Lynn, what does it mean, Allison, on number nine when it says find parameter M? Find the slope. So you guys find the slope on that one and get an answer, do it by yourself. We've done this all week. Nobody should miss this one on the test. I really think this is going to be pretty easy. Yeah. All right, Brandon, what goes on top when I'm finding my slope? Brandon's got it. What goes on top when I'm finding my slope? 15 minus 12. 15 minus 12. The top is 3. All right, Brandon, do the bottom. 4 minus Somebody type that in your calculator. I positive uh, 11. Positive 11, so the answer is 3 over 11. That's your rise over run. Now, it's not going to say slope. It says parameter M. Why are we making y'all learn that? Because that's how they ask you on the EOC. We want y'all to know that slope means the same as parameter M. All right, look at the next one. Chloe, look at number 10. They're asking for the domain. Chloe, which numbers are the domains? The X's. So y'all need to write down. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. All right, which means which numbers are the range? 4, 2, 0. All right, is this a function? Yes. When is it a no? When, when x, x has two of the same numbers. Right, if the same number repeats in the x, is this a no? Now, find the slope. We just did that on the warm up. You guys can do that. Somebody just give me the answer. Thank you, guys. Negative 2. Mikey says negative 2 over 3. Somebody check it. I haven't done it. I don't think I need to do that. Which one on number nine? Whoa, now I need to check it. All right, so Mikey, which numbers did you use? The first point and the second point? I did the first and the last. You did the first and the last. Well, it should be the same. Let's check. Two minus four is negative two on top. So far, so good, Mikey. Negative two minus negative one. Hold on, negative two, that's negative two plus one, which is negative one. So is the answer should be two? Yes. Did I mess up? Yeah, you messed up. All right, no, you how did I mess up? No, no you didn't. Made it. So it's negative one and four, negative two and two. Let me check it. Two minus four is negative two on top, negative two plus one is negative one. Guys, that's right. That's right. That's right. Now, Mikey used the last number, but the answer is going to be the same no matter which one you use. I can show you if you wanted me to. But I showed y'all yesterday. Okay, that's six. You forgot the negative in the front. Negative. Yeah, that's what happened. At the end, look. Go back there. Yes, sir. I didn't mess up. Look right there. You see the fraction in the bottom? There's a negative. I didn't put the negative first. Yeah, that's what he said. He did the same thing. All right, look. Here's how you do it. On top, two minus four goes on top. We got that. The bottom is negative two minus negative one. Sorry, I got you mixed up on one. Mr. Yes. I put. I put. I put the first. Hold up, Mike is talking. I put the first one on like where it's a negative two. You got to go in that order. You can't mix it up. JT. <laughs> Go to 14. 
What word is that? All right, JT, look at 14. They give us a set of numbers, JT, and it says it's the domain. So where do I put those set of numbers at in my chart? Good. Negative 4, 2, and 3. JT, how do I find my first answer? Just plug it into the x-axis. Yeah, just put it in where the x is. So y'all going to do 3 to the negative 4 minus 3. Everybody type it in. Action. Put your phone up, Justin, for a few minutes, buddy. Do your work. This is what I got. I got a big number. All right, Kyler's got a decimal. Let's see what I got. Three to the negative four minus three. All right, it gave me a fraction. I'm gonna make it a decimal. I got negative two point nine eight. It's my check. Negative fifteen. I got negative. Whoa. Y'all wrong. All right, that's what you should have typed in. Three to the negative four minus three. Now. Oh, I did parentheses. Don't do negative three right there. That's a minus three. If you do negative three, we learned yesterday you're gonna miss it. All right, so now let's do the next one. It'll be 3 to the second minus 3. Kyla got 6. I agree with that. Y'all do the last one. Kyla says 24. Kyla, right? Yeah. I don't need to do it. Whoa, Kyla. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got to talk about that test. Hey, Karen. Yes, ma'am. I need Michael Hunt to sign out, please. Okay. Thank you. Mike, can we finish this? Yes, I do. We're turning it in, so you got to finish it. All right. 15 has been a hard problem for us. I've done it for you the last two days. Everybody do 15. Don't shout it out. Give everybody a chance to do it and see what you get. Guys, you should know it. I've done it for you. I bet you dollars. I'm just looking at it. I'm giving a guess. Is this a problem for both? I got to be in the video. I got to be in the all right, I'm hearing B. I'm hearing C. I haven't even read it yet. C is bracket. All right, let's read it. I, I do remember it's been brackets every day so far. All right, Bo can run 12 miles an hour for four hours. Y is the distance. X is the time. So which is the domain? Domain's always the X, so it's the time. So what is the time that he, he's running? Four hours. So it's got to be B. Right? That one, guys, we got right off the EOC. Some of it you are going to do by yourself. I'm gonna go and I gotta finish that one on Polly. Alright, let's flip it over. Alright, I think you guys are good on 16 through 20. I don't think I need to help y'all there. Oh my god. I do think I need to help you on 21 through 24 though. Well, I'll come help you with your desk. 15? I just said 15. Come on, Steve. Watch your mouth, woman. Okay. You ain't even got to say nothing. Your mom. Tyler, are you playing on your phone back there? What was 15 D? I think we said it was B. It was B. I couldn't hear. I had a loud mouth back there yelling. All right, we're going to do 21 through 24, guys, and we'll let y'all do the rest of it. Still play it? Yeah. You're in 14 minutes long. Five more minutes. All right, so let's do number 21. All right, Sam, let's face the front. All right, so hold up. Peyton's got me on this one. So you guys are going to have a graph on your test. Girls, y'all are interrupting me. What, Jake? All right, Peyton, do you, remember, do you remember what the shape is, Peyton, for an X squared? You should, Peyton, if you had not been sleeping the last two days. Okay. What's this called, Peyton? 
Yeah. Brandon, what's the mathematical word for you? Remember? Kobe. Parabola. It's a parabola. All right. Sorry. It's hard to say, but everybody draw for 21. All you got to do is draw your graph. It's a parabola right in the center. How do we know it's right in the center? All right, Sam, you got face front, buddy. How do we know it's right in the center? Because, look, there's nothing else happening to it up here. It's just a plain X squared. All right. So now, Jacob's going to help me on the next one. Hold up, Jacob. Let me get my pen. All right. So now, Jacob, for the red one right here, 22. It's got one, two, it's got four things on the problem that changes. Start at the back, where does that move? All right, it's either up three or down three. All right, so we got up three, let's keep going. Right, so that's really a negative two. Very good, so I got left two. Now it's got a minus and it's got a number in front of it. Those are separate changes now. What does the minus do to it? The minus flips it over. So we got a right flip. Now, the three is either going to make it skinny or it's going to make it fat. Which one is it? Skinny. It makes it skinny. If it's a fraction, Brandon, that makes it fat. Y'all got to memorize this. So this one is skinny. Now, you're going to have to write down the four ways that it, it's going to change, and you got to re-graph it on the graph. Can I use that graph? You can, yeah. You're going to have the calculators. I don't care if you do that. But you don't have to do it there. You can, but, yeah. Now look, Brandon, even if you do it on the graph, you've got to write down these four on your paper. Carter. Um, we have to put all that up yeah. three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Up three, left two. Everybody go in your graph and put a point. Now it's going to be skinny and we got to flip it. All right, so I'm making it skinny and I'm flipping it over. Now, Brandon's asking, can you do it on the calculator the way we did yesterday? Sure. Now, on the calculator, Brandon, it may not make it as skinny as I made it, but that doesn't matter. It's okay. As long as you guys know that it's skinny, it's all that matters. Can you put it on the calculator? Uh, we did it yesterday. You go to Y equals. I remember that. And then you've got to clear it out, Brandon. And then you've got to plug it in. you got to write down all your... You want me to show you? I'll come show you in a minute. Everything? Plug in everything? Yeah. You write down everything just like it is. Hit graph, and it graphs it for you. All right. I got you. All right. Question on 22. We good? No, can I do 23? All right, Justin's going to help on 23. So down. Start from the back, Justin. Go. Down two. All right, let me write it. Down two. What up? Left one. I'm just going to use an arrow left one. Last thing. Why? So you're going to be skinny and wide. That's right. This one's wide. So we got to go down two, left one. Now, Justin, why don't I have to flip this one over? There's a reason why we flip 22 and we don't have not to. Because it's not a negative. It's not a negative. So y'all got to make it really wide, and it's got to be going up. But you're going to have to get both parts right to get it right on the test. you got to write down the three changes and graph. All right, who wants 24? Anybody? No. All right, Allison, go ahead and start from the back, Allison. Uh, <laughs> 22. Wait, yours is different. Did I write it down wrong? Yeah, it's Hang on, I'm sorry. I wrote the wrong one down. Let me rewrite it. You really just need to change one thing. So at the end, this Okay, gotcha. I've been messing up more today than ever. Dementia setting in. Old age. Own this coming. All right, Allison, go ahead. Up four. Up four. Right five. I like it so far. Keep going. And then you flip. Then you flip. All right, so that one's got three changes you got to make. Yeah. Over on the graph, let's go up four, right five. Now, I got a question. When you flip it and you draw your graph, is it going to be wide or skinny? It's just going to be normal. It's going to be normal. How do you know it's normal? Because it didn't have a fraction or it didn't have a number. What is normal? Normal is the first one you graph. So I'm going to match it up with that one. And as long as you got something close to the first one, you're good. All right, your assignment is to finish everything else on this sheet we didn't do. I don't know how to do that. You should know it. I'll come sit by you and we'll do them. All right, hand it in when you're done, and then we'll take a bathroom break. All right, hang on. Let me get this. Uh